hello everyone so today we'll be doing a lead code problem and that is a valid anagram and it is of easy difficulty so let us see what the problem states uh, given two string s and t write a function to determine if t is an anagram of s so it's a classical interview question and see the example in example one s is anagram and the string t is n a g a r a m so you can see that on rearranging the letters of t we'll get s for so the output is true whereas in example 2 you can't get the string s from t since there is no t in string t so just can't make a rat out of the word car so that must be false so how we can solve it mm. we can solve it by using a hash table or by using an array let me show you what we'll do is we'll iterate through the given string uh, there will be one common loop for the string we'll iterate through the first character of string s then the first character of string t and we'll increment if uh, when we'll encounter the character of string s and we'll decrement the value when we get the character of t might sound a bit confusing let me show you what we'll do so the array would be like this if you will get the character of string s like let us take example 2 so we'll take a common loop so first we'll scan the first letter of string s there is r so we'll increment the value of r we'll make it 1 okay 0 plus 1 that is 1 so the r is 1 now the first character of string t that is c decrement the value of c just minus make it minus one okay now the second character of string s that is a increment the value of a that is make it to one now the second letter of string t is a decrement the value of a that is zero now the third character of string s that is t increment the value of t make it one and now the third letter of string t that is r decrement the value of r make it zero now the string ends here so after incrementing and decrementing the value at the end we'll check if the array contains all the in at all the indexes whether there is zero or there is some other number if the string is anagram of the first string then there must be zero at every index so at last we'll just check that whether all the value at all the indexes are zero or not and if the value anywhere in if the value at the index anywhere at the in the array if the value is non-zero then the output is false else the output is true so let us code so we'll have to code so first of all if s dot length is not equal to t dot length t dot length then return false if the length of s will not be equal to length of t and of course the second string will not be an anagram of the first so now we will declare an array the size would be 26 since the number of alphabets in english language is 26 and no other special symbols is used no. 
minus 10 plus dot length i plus plus come and look for iteration now arr dot add i minus this this loop will check whether at any index there is a non zero value or not so if arr at i sorry i'm sorry length of the array is 26 only we are just we are just gonna check whether there is a non zero value in the array or not so if arr i is not equal to zero we're gonna return false else if all the values are zero our function will return true this looks fine let's run it Okay, uh, submitted. Oh, success. So that was it. See you in the next video.